That's the Radio Whammo Breakfast. The view from Ariel Al's place. How's it looking this morning? Ariel, good morning. Southerly. Southerly. There's a southeasterly sneaking up the coastline. Flat out in the front of the front there, Taylor's it is. There's a little swell coming through. There's been good waves over the weekend. It looks like there's little waves all during the week, so the surfing community's very happy. Oh, oh lovely. Uh, uh, only a high of 13 today in Christchurch. This is, a, this is getting right, right down to the chill now. This is what we this is what we love down here, mate. It actually did turn. I think there'll be a bit of snow on the hills up there. Things is, you know, we've had that amazing drawn out autumn. It's just been absolutely incredible. But I think the uh, this is just definitely a bit of a bit of a southerly now. They're forecasting another one later in the week. So um, yeah, everyone will be getting excited. They had the they had the good old CSA ski sale on the weekend down here, Wemo. Oh, now that, that does that happen in Hagley Park or somewhere like no, that? No, it happens it? out at the um, out at Addington Raceway oh, where everyone Raceway. brings all their old ski and snowboard gear. Yeah. And they line it up in this big hall, and you can go in there, and you can pick up like it's amazing what you can pick up a pair of skis for these days. You know, like ten, fifteen dollars. Yeah. Did you pick up any new ones? Or? I didn't go near the place. No. Right? Why would I want to pair and buy an old pair of skis? <laughs> Just you know, for for <laughs> some crazy stunt you might want to no, do, no, Ariel. I've got, no, I've got, it, it worked well. I've got a pair of skis. They're in a, they're in a, in a big bo- a big box with a glass frontage, yeah. and it's and it's got written on the outside, and in, 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 in extreme emergencies, break glass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, the so last I... thing you want to do is get on the air. You know, it'd be, you know, why, 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 why <laughs> when you skate and you snow and you surf, why would all of a sudden you want to go up a mountain and go rollerblading? <laughs> I just figured, you know, you might want to break a leg. You, you may, this is this is true, but but an amazing thing happened last. Speaking of this, um, speaking of amazing things, um, you know, snowboarding, of course. But mm. um, as, as, as a, a young lady by the name of Jessica Watson, do you, you know who Jessica Watson is? Now, now she's a um, superstar snowboarder. Is she not? No, she's not. She is 16 years old, and she just <laughs> circumnavigated oh, the world right. solo, unassisted in a yacht. I knew I knew that name. I know. How's that? <laughs> a 210 days at sea by yourself when you're 16 years old. Yeah, it's pretty a cool. 43, and, a, and, a, and a 43-foot pink yacht, is, I reckon, is an, an amazing achievement, Wemo. Just an ordinary girl, she says. Just an, I'm not a super. You know, telling, telling the Prime Minister, I'm not a superstar. I'm just an ordinary girl that had a dream and went out and got it. Yeah. What the, what, imagine coming back to that reception that she saw at, at the Opera House there. Oh, my God. That I, and, and that flotilla. That flotilla. Oh. Well, oh, I, hadn't wow. really, I hadn't really followed her until until yesterday when I saw a tweet going on, and I so I went into Tweetland and, and saw what was going on, and then went onto a website and checked out all the YouTube on her, and I, I was I was just she was yeah. my favourite thing last night. Yeah, pretty cool, and it, it's really cool to go back and follow her journey and just the. The, the technology she had on board to be able to document it, I thought was pretty cool as oh, well. You know, the mate. YouTube videos and the and the yep. podcast, the diary, yep. the, the tweeting. Yeah, no. So as I'm driving through town today, looking at some low life scum boy racers in their in their souped up granny car, oh. I'll, I'll just think, I'll look at them and I'll like, you know what, mate? There's a chick on the other side yeah, of the yeah. scales that's actually balancing the whole thing up. That's giving sixteen year olds a bit yeah. of cred. Yeah. You know, she hasn't even got a license yet, Wemo. No, it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's an inspiration to youth I, out there to the fact that you can go and do whatever you want. I tell you what, tough call as a parent though, eh? Yeah, oh mate, yeah, yeah. Mrs. L, she was exactly the same. She was like, "There's no way I could send my 15 year old child to see for yeah. you know for 210 days." Uh, but but I guess I don't know. I, 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 there must be an amazing relationship going on there between um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. father and son and daughter. Yeah, and and, the, and, but I just thought the you know the amazing thing is, and how's that to have a yacht that painted uh, cut the colour pink? I think that's just brilliant, yeah, you know, yeah. fantastic. But the other thing that I was thinking about, Whammo, is, as far as that is, it's got to do with a bit of overseas, is the implications of GST. Oh, really? Well, the, from from Jessica to GST? Yeah, Jessica to GST. What yeah, about like twelve and a half percent to fifteen? But of course, it's not official. The fact the fact that GST is going to be going up. But, but I was thinking about. But I was thinking about what are what are what are the good things about you know what, what's it, what's it, you know what's not going to change in our world about the cost of living. And it's easy. International travel technically shouldn't change. Don't get charged mm. that on a G- GST. Are you sure if you're buying um, uh, in New Zealand? 
ticket. No, no, if you buy international travel, you don't get charged GST on it don't because you? it's a service that's supplied off land. Off the, and once it's taken off, it's a service in the air, so they can't charge you GST on it. So if you do get charged GST mm. on it, someone, someone, someone's swinging you somewhere. Plenty of other government taxes on that, though. Oh, mate, no, I think they've snuck that GST into you know, the airport tax and the yeah, other tax no and doubt. the other tax. And so when you see that $49 flight to Sydney, yeah. by the time you pay for it, it's at least a couple of hundred. Yeah. With all I, I just hope the public can get wise to the budget because they're because there will be a certain sector of the public will be going, yay, we got some tax cuts because that's what people are looking for, right? But only the rich. But but yeah yeah, and but that's be, but that's being balanced out by the rise in GST. Oh no, goodness me, it's going. It's, and the, and the, and, you know, and people people you know some people don't see them big. There's going to be huge implications here. You know the, the implications of all these massive accounting software systems that have been set up and coded internally oh. for. Twelve and a half percent that now need to go to fifteen. Where much? Yeah, now, it's going to cost some companies hundreds of millions. Because you're a business owner yourself, so you're going to have to look at some of these costs as well. Oh well, yeah, I, I am going to have to look at these costs. And the, but the bottom line is, the consumer at the end of the line is the one who is affected. Because you'll pass it on, yeah. Exactly. So you when you're when you're in the when when you're sort of supplying the service, you sort of do it at one end and take it off at the other. So it doesn't yeah. really. The only thing that really affects is the bottom is your is your is your, uh, is your overall cash flow, and it actually looks like you've made more money, but you haven't. How can I start charging? GST. Oh, you, easy, Wambo. You just, you just, you could get a fan club and like send out subscriptions, and then you can charge them an extra two percent a yeah. year. Yeah. Imagine if I said, um, yeah, you go, we're now charging you to listen. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think that's going to be popular. Pop- uh, popularity could, <laughs> would go up terribly, a uh, hell of a lot, and very quickly. <laughs> you never know. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and on the that other note, question is, yeah. when is when is GST going to come into action, Wambo? Is it coming in? You know, if it is coming in at twelve and a half to fifteen, mm. when is it going to come in next week, or is it going to come in in two years' time? No, oh, it's going to take a while. It's probably uh, at least a year. I reckon October. You watch, they'll you swing reckon? it. In, they'll swing it in as fast as possible, mate. Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's the only way they can make a decent amount of money at the moment. But um, but would would, would Labor um, would Labor go um, you know take it away again? No, they won't. No, Labor. No, well, I hope they. Take it, I'd hope they'd come back in and take it away and, 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 well, and stop some mining and some, and some conservation areas. Well, they might do a bit of that, but they're not, they're not going to go back on the GST. No, they wouldn't, mate. They want, they want more money. Hmm. And, of course, everything in, expen- in New Zealand is going to become more expensive. And you know, all of a sudden people go, oh, I don't know if I'm going to go there. It's pretty expensive. Hmm. But anyway, in, in the end of that, we can do, you know, who wants to talk about tax on a Monday morning? Oh, man, like? talk about bring me down. I'm going to play a track now, like... From this this Alfred here coast to bring oh, it back up. Oh, coast! They're very good, I hear. Yeah, they are and, good. Hey, let's let's dedicate this one to Jessica. Jessica All right. Watson. Well done, Miss Watson. Oh, she's an inspiration. Here's Ariel. There oh, we need to see you. About this. Game. 